Okay, so we're going to do a basic mission editor tutorial just to show you guys how I'd make some missions. Now quite often for my training missions I've been making them up here in this area by Krasnodar, Krimsk and Dnapa. So why don't we try making a simple training mission over here. To start off with, let's place our friendly units over at Krasnodar Centre. So we click over here to add an air group. And this one is going to be, let's make it the Mirage actually. So we'll name this one M2000. It's always good to name your groups because this is important for doing triggers later. On the drop down menu here, I'm selecting France and the Mirage 2000. Under skill, you want to make sure that it's client, otherwise you won't be able to use it in multiplayer. Now I'm going to click on the airfield and there's the Mirage. But it's not on the airfield at the moment, it's actually in the air. You can tell this because it says turning point. So what I want to do is make it spawn in one of these hardened shelters. So I will put uh, take off from ramp. And I actually want it to be closer to uh, here. So I'm going to um, find which number. There we go, 30, 26. So now we have Mirage 2000 spawning in one of the hardened bunkers near the runway. Clicking on this tab here for payload allows us to adjust what the Mirage is carrying. So I'm going to give it my favourite skin for the Mirage, which is this one, nice and grey. I'm going to adjust the number of flares it can carry because it can carry more flares than it uh, starts as with default. And I'm going to give it the multi-roll loadout, which is uh, the full air to air, a couple of snake eyes and the fuel tank. That's just one Mirage. I quickly want to make a full squad of them, so I'll just add in up to four. There we go. You can't have more than four on here. Now, how do I put those waypoints in, which you'll often see? What you do is you click Add, Add Waypoint. And we want the first one to be over by the lake at Krimsk. And the second one, which is going to be by our target, is going to be over here. So I'll click there. And let's say we want to land back at Krasnodar, so I'm going to put a third one here and change it to landing. And there's our Mirage ready to use in the mission. This, of course, will apply to any other kind of uh, plane or helicopter that you want to put in. But helicopters are done with a separate tab here. So planes, helicopters, ships, ground units and statics. Statics can include things like FARPs, so I'll place a FARP in here and I will call it FARP1, make it a US one, and you can have helicopters start on the FARPs. So I'll put in a uh, friendly Huey, UH1 group, and we'll make these available to the player by making it client, and we'll put uh, from ramp. Notice how it jumped onto the FARP when I clicked that. So this Huey will be playable. We can pick the loadouts here. You can make your own one, by the way, and name it as something. So let's say I want this to have white phosphorus, large white phosphorus ones. That's now saved. And I want it to have the US Navy camo there. So it gives a little preview of what your helicopter will look like. And let's give them under this special tab over here. 100% for the gunner's skill in there. That one's done. Uh, not all aircraft have special options. The Mirage, for example, you can change the default laser codes, whether or not the uh, missile war launch warning sensors are deployed, and you can change the rocket burst count. But we need some enemies to put in here as well. So seeing as this is our target area, let's add some enemy troops and things over here. So I click on ground vehicles, let's just place one, make sure it's Russian or anything that's enemy and we'll call this bad group. And we'll call it bad group one actually and you'll see why in a short while. And to start off with I'm going to put some enclosed uh, AAA sites and we'll put them along the corners of this field here. Ah, now, what I should be doing is putting the satellite view on. 
as you can see they weren't really in the corners of the field they were in different fields so I will now adjust that to make sure that the AAA is within the boundaries of the field as we would see it when we fly which would make more sense for us as we see and I'll just adjust the Mirage's waypoint so that it's in the middle there I want to add a few more uh, things to this group so if I go and add another one and then change this to let's change it to a fortification and a barracks you know that I like to add a lot of barracks into my missions let's put a few of those in so I'll have three barracks in the field here and we'll also put in an unarmed command post what does this one look like no that's ugly let's put in which one has a high res texture yeah one of these one of those fuel trucks we'll put a few fuel trucks in and uh, we'll put one in front of each barracks there there we go so that group will definitely spawn in fact it will be there on mission start what I want to do though is randomize the SAMs that will be here so let's go over how to randomize some things I'm going to put in an air defense group, Russian group, we'll name this bad group 2 and this group will be two strellas, there we go, two strellas and we'll just pop them there what I will now do is click late activation and now I'm going to make another group I've actually just copied and pasted this one in, we'll call this bad group 3 uh, but instead of strellas, let's make this one. Let's make them two ton guskers. Again, we'll put them over here. Note the late activation. Now, I want on the mission start one of these to spawn in, but not both of them. So I'll go over to triggers over here and I'll press new. Mission start. We'll rename this flag one. We don't need any conditions for this one, but what we do need is flag set random value. We want flag 1 to be between 0 and 1. Next, new trigger. SAM 2 spawn. It's always good to name these triggers so that you can tell what's doing what. Flag equals, flag 1 equals 0 and then group activate bad group 2 just clone this rename it as SAM3 spawn but this time we want the flag 1 equals 1 then it will spawn bad group 3 what this will mean is that on mission start flag 1 will be given a random value between 0 and 1 they should be mission starts as well then on mission start, if that flag with the random value is 0, it will activate this group. And if the random value is 1, it will activate this group. But they will never be activated at the same time. Flags don't have to just be 0 1, 1. Let's make this up to 3. Now, there's only a 25% chance of either of these spawning, and there's a 50% chance that nothing will happen. What I will in fact do is add in another group and we'll move these here. Let's make these something a little harder. Let's make this an SA6 site. So one launcher and one track radar and we'll, we'll put, those, put those there. Name that bad group 4 copy and paste it, name this one bad group 5 but instead of an SA6 let's make this two SA8 OSAs. Okay if we go back to the triggers clone that, SAM4 spawn if flag is equal in 2 spawn group 4, clone it again SAM5 if the flag is 3 then we want that one to spawn. Now on mission start there is a 25% chance 
that one of these will spawn. That's guaranteed, but we don't know which one it is. You can of course do this with uh, any number of groups, you can do it with aircraft as well, it doesn't have to just be ground units, but it's adding in a, a sense of uh, randomization to the mission. Now we want some enemy aircraft to deal with, so let's pick some, oh, not Australians, so let's go for Russians, and we'll call this MiG-1, and there will be some MiG-29s, random value, so we don't know how good they're going to be, and we'll have them spawn at a Napa on the runway. Late activation, pick which camo we want for them, and pick their payloads. And let's have a two ship. We'll give them some waypoints. I want them to fly at 400 knots just on the deck because it's on 148 feet. And we'll have them come over here. And then we'll have them patrol to Krimsk, to Novo, back to here, and then land. And hopefully they should engage us on this route. But notice I've set them to late activation, so we need a condition for them to spawn. Let's try using a trigger zone to make them spawn. Over here, create trigger zone, pop the trigger here, and we will call it trigger one. It's a bit small, so let's increase the size of it. Let's go for 2000, there we go, or 20,000. And we can put a color in there if we want. So let's go to our triggers again, new once, call this MIG-1 spawn. Conditions, we want part of coalition in zone, blue in trigger one. So if any member of the blue team enters this trigger, then what's the action? Well, the action is going to be activate the MIG-29s. So group activate MIG-1. Now, if the Mirage 2000s, any of them, enter this trigger, then these MIGs will spawn. We're probably going to shoot them down very easily, so why don't we add in another set of uh, hostile aircraft? Let's go for... Let's go for some USAF aggressors, because they are red. We'll call this one MIG-2. Now, I don't actually want them to be MiGs, but I have named them MiG-2 for a reason. We'll go for some F5s, random, late activation, and we'll give them the Top Gun skin. Choose what they're carrying, so they're going for some older Sidewinders and a fuel tank, and we'll make four of them. Set the speed that they'll be flying around at and set some waypoints for them, just some random waypoints. So they're going to be flying around here and then they'll land back there. No, nope, there we go. But we need a condition for them to spawn. So how about this? Once, and we'll do a bad group 50%. So group alive less than 50%. If this first group here has been destroyed by half, then group activate MiG-2. So once we've taken out 50% of the ground forces here, these MiGs, MiG-28s we'll call them, are going to spawn in and attack us here. Now that's how you do those triggers, but why don't we get some warning of if these MIGs are coming. You can add more than one action to one trigger. So what I'm going to do here is scroll down to message to coalition, blue coalition because that's the mirages, and let's write MIGs have spawned. And we'll do the same on this one, message to coalition, blue. MIGs have spawned. So now we will know 
when these MIGs are in. Giving us some warning. And that's basically how to set up a simple mission with a little bit of uh, randomization and some late spawning uh, aircraft. And I can do some more advanced tutorials than that, but I feel this is a good starting point for you guys to play around with. <laughs>